how to create a recruiting video that will get attention, that will get the potential coaches, the potential schools that you're interested, how to get their attention. Think of your player as a product. Or if you are the high school player who's looking to get recruited, who's looking to enter the recruiting process, think of yourselves as a product. You are the product, the coaches, the schools that you're going after are the buyers. So how do you get the buyer's attention to take a look at you, to take a look at you as a product? Try to find out or know what the majority, if not all, college coaches are looking for. What are they looking for before you start creating that video? So that's number one. How to package yourself as a player, as a product. How are you going to get immediate attention from the prospective coach or university or college that you're trying to get recruited by? Okay. Number two is you have to keep in mind that coaches and college programs get a lot of videos from a lot of different players. So you want to make an immediate impact where the coach will look at your video right away. And the most important thing, which is a very common mistake, is that when folks send an entire game uncut, unedited to a coach, and I'll tell you why. So, let's start off by the first one. How do you package the product? How do you get the, pa the product to be instantly attractive and capture the coach's attention? Well, if you hire a company that's going to create that footage for you, and I'll be honest with you, a lot of these companies, they go out and they get footage of your players okay and they concentrate you know in putting clips of your players into one video but they're not marketing companies so they really do not understand the concept of marketing a product which is the player and catching the attention of the program of the coach right away believe me I have seen a lot of videos both from being sent to us from a parent that just put it together or some that have been you know done by quote-unquote companies that the the, the parents have um, uh, hired to do that okay so it's key that the company that you hire understands how to capture the attention of the coach because look they get to see a lot of videos they get to see a lot of players if you don't capture their attention right away they're just going to move on to the next one it's 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 that's what it is all right there is coaches are not going to sit there and watch video after video after video endlessly if they don't have an interest so how do you achieve that well in the beginning of the video you must put a clip or the best clip that you have of yourself or if your parent of your son of your daughter the best clip that you have now what dictates a good clip because a lot of parents don't understand what the coaches are looking for so if you don't know what the coach is looking for how can you determine what's the best possible clip to put right in the front okay you'll see a lot of videos even the ones that are being you know professionally made by quote unquote companies that are making these videos they just start off with a player running up and down the field making a pass um, receiving a pass you know like there's nothing spectacular about that what's what's to create the curiosity of a player I'm oh, sorry of a coach in your player well if you're an attacker how about a spectacular shot how about a phenomenal shot or a phenomenal goal. If you're a midfielder, how about a 
no look pass or or something that you did in the in the uh, uh, in the midfield uh, uh, area, a run that you made, and no look pass, uh, a give and go, something that was really you know note uh, gathering. You know the coach likes that. Or if you're a defender, how about a great tackle where you get the ball and then you make a great distribution or restart the attack after you made that defensive capture. If you're a goalkeeper, what about instead of just you know starting the video with a ordinary save or a punt, what about a spectacular save? Or what about if the ball is being passed back to the goalkeeper and he or you know uses he or her use their feet make some great touches and redistribute the ball, changing the point of attack to the other side. I hope you follow where I'm going with this. But again, you have to know what the coaches are looking for before you can determine what is that clip that's gonna stand out. If you have multiple, awesome. Front load them, put them right in the beginning of the video. So I hope I'm making my point clear. When you get that video through the email or, you know, if you upload it someplace or if you send it to the coach by way of a uh, DVD, I don't know, whatever. There's different ways to, to you know, to send a uh, video um, through today's social media to a coach or a university. You want to grab that attention, that coach's attention or the, the program's attention instantly within the first 60 seconds. Like wow, wow! This this is a quality player. I must see more. I hope I'm making my point clear. That's a very common mistake, and I, I I get video clips sent over where it's just a player wandering around, you know, not doing much. Which brings me to the next point: sending someone, sending a coach, an entire game, uncut and unedited. In my opinion, unless your player is constantly involved, because let's, let's be honest, your player is not going to be constantly involved because it's an outdoor 11 v 11 game. And a lot of these games, your player just runs up and down, the camera focuses on the player, and in a matter of, let's say, you know, three, four, five minutes, your player might touch the ball once or twice. Well, how can a coach draw a conclusion if your player is of interest to him if they only touch the ball once or twice. Furthermore, the times that they touch the ball, they may not have done their best. They may have had a bad touch on the ball, bad decision, all kinds of things. So if you're gonna send an entire game to a coach, I don't recommend it. In my opinion, you have to capture the coach's attention right off the bat. And that's what will drive the coach to say, wow, I want to see more of this kid. And possibly ask you for more videos or come out and see you in a game. Maybe invite you to an ID camp. Maybe go and see a showcase game of yours. But the initial contact with a coach is crucial. And how do you accomplish that? You accomplish it by front loading your top clips, your best possible clip first, and then, you know, backwards, your second best, your third best, your fourth best. And give multiple, I mean, if you can have a, a video of highlights, sort of. I don't want to watch the whole game. I don't edit a coach. I don't have time to sit there and watch 90 minute games. Because if I was sitting there to watch a 90 minute game, uh, the recruiting process will be endless. I have so many kids to look at and so much time to do it. So I need to see the highlights. Here's something else. If you're sending a video, a full video of, of yourselves or of your players, should I say, to a coach, if in the first five minutes, if the coach watches five minutes, or if he's one of those coaches that may watch 10 or 15, whatever the duration is, if they, if your player doesn't do something attention worthy, something spectacular, something good. Well, the coach 
it's probably gonna, you know, just click, click out of it. However, your son or your daughter might have done something spectacular on the 50th minute of the game, on the 70th minute of the game, where the coach never got to see it. Which is very similar, by the way, what happens when you know coaches go to the showcase, the, you know, the, the tournaments. He comes or you know, she comes to see your, your player. They have a bunch of plays to look at. If your player doesn't do something attention worthy, the coach will move on to the next player because they're coming there to see multiple players, right? And he or she will miss that opportunity to see your player when they have that moment in the game, that attention getting moment in the game, if that makes sense. So how do I get interest of a coach? Again, my opinion is create a highlight, a highlight video of your best moments and front load that video with your best moments from different games. Your, best, your number one best moment, second, third, fourth, moving backwards. And just keep adding clips. You can make multiple, you know, clips, but they gotta be attention getting clips, okay? To have a coach sit there and watch a game while your son or your daughter is just walking up and down, you know, the, uh, uh, the field with getting very little touches and being very little involved in the game is not gonna do you as a product any good, if that makes sense. So don't just send a coach any old game just for the sake of set, sending a game, just, just for the coach to see, you know, the height or, or, or the speed of your son or your daughter. Coaches wanna see players that are being interactive in the game, that are playing in the game, what they do in certain moments, their decision making, what they do when they win the ball, when they lose the ball, but they're not gonna spend a lot, a lot of time watching a video that just shows your son or your daughter jogging up and down you know, the game. So choose which games you're gonna take clips from and, and make a highlight video. The highlight video serves the purpose of getting the coach's attention. Oh, as a product, you got my attention. I wanna see more of you. Okay, have any more uh, videos? Although, if you have a very good highlight video put together, chances are the coach is gonna ask you, well, can you send me your schedule? Now they wanna come and see you play if you're in high school. Or, you know, when is the next time you're gonna be at a showcase? Or maybe come to an ID camp. Lastly, when you are shooting these games, the player must have in mind that I must put forward my best effort. This game is being recorded and the players have to make a conscious effort of playing a quality game. What takes a quality game? Making the right decisions, having good touches on the ball. Don't just go through the motions. Don't wing it. Don't just kick the ball away. Be careful of what you do throughout the game and look for those moments. Look for those game-changing moments as a player. I hope I'm making myself clear. I hope you guys understand. If you don't put yourself in a bad situation by dribbling and losing the ball multiple times. Don't put yourself in a bad situation by dribbling and when you get caught or in pressure, just release the ball or kick the ball away just to get out of trouble. Professional coaches know these things. They know why you did what you did. Release the ball before you get in trouble. Make that run even if you don't get the ball. Create space by making that run. Make that quality pass instead of taking two or three players on by dribbling because you want to showcase how much of a great dribbler you are and wind up losing the ball. Bottom line is this. You got to showcase your strengths and limit your weaknesses. It's not that you're trying to lie in a video. You're not. But like anything else, 
we want to highlight our strengths. We want to highlight the benefits of me recruiting you. I, you want to highlight your decision making. You want to highlight the accuracy of your passing. You want to highlight the read of the game. If you're a mediocre dribbler, if you're an average dribbler, if you're not great at dribbling, don't start taking on players and losing the ball and then sending that video clip to the coach. Listen, if you have enough strengths, if you showcase enough strengths, if you get the coach's attention and the coach wants to see more of you, that coach sooner or later will discover the weaknesses. But we don't have to highlight the weaknesses, right? We want to highlight the strengths. This is what I wanted to go over. Uh, I realize I'm in the car. I'm actually parked right now waiting to get gas. <laughs> and I wanted to make this quick video and start talking about because again it's something that I think not that many people cover you know we getting videos recruiting videos and this and that and it just I, I watch I'm like wow these people need to understand what they sent and why they sent it and how it should be done so in my opinion it should be a highlight video okay that has marketing potential and grabs the coach's attention right off the bat. In the first 30 seconds, 60 seconds, you front load that video with your best clip. As opposed to paying a company that comes shoots your game and then, you know, puts a little circle around the play, your highlight circle, and they just take clip. Of it. So in other words, look, every I've seen videos where the company, every time the player touches the ball, they just put a circle around them. Regardless of what decision the player makes, regardless of what the player does with the ball, they include it into the video clip, into the into the high, highlight reel. That's not marketing, okay? You want to highlight the good things, not just put in the video every time your player touches the ball. Coach doesn't care. Coach wants to see what that player has done that's good. Does that make sense? Listen, if you like this video, I'm going to try to make some more in this subject matter. Please ask questions uh, on the bottom if this you know, winds up in YouTube or one of the other uh, social media platforms that I use. Please ask questions. Ask me a particular question that you want me to address. If there's something that you want me to, to um, make, a video that you want me to make about a specific thing in the college recruitment process or anything else, please ask and I'd be more than happy to do so. If you like the content of this video as always, please help me navigate through the clutter of YouTube. Uh, please share, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure when new videos drop, you guys are uh, getting notices. Till the next time, take care.